Hey guys, so today I'm going to be looking at two sentence horror stories. Yeah, let's just get right into the video. When I was a toddler, a drug addled homeless woman ran up to my father, ripped me from his embrace and sprinted away. She knew she couldn't physically stop my father from jumping off the overpass, but thanks to her, I didn't die with him. Oh, oh damn. Damn, the twist. So the dad wanted to die with his kid by jumping off the overpass. Damn, I mean, like, if you want to die, die by yourself. Like, there's so many stories like this. They kill the kids and then they kill themselves. Like, those people deserve a special place in hell. After sex, I always feel guilty. It's difficult to continue the autopsy afterwards. I have to remind myself that I'm the only veterinarian in the city. This just got worse and worse and worse and worse. What the heck? I was thinking, okay, we do hear stories about this right you know because there are so many reports of people effing dead bodies in the morgue nasty so we know that happens right we know that happens but like what the hell is this turn back i begged my friend as he drove sirens wailing in the background he seemed desperate not to at first but after i got one of his earplugs out he agreed that the voices were too beautiful to ignore wow so I'm assuming the sirens were like women's voices, you know, ghosts or something or like mermaids, right? Because they lure you in with their voices and because the friend had the earplugs in, he wasn't lured in but the person telling the story didn't have the earplugs in. He was like, go back, go back. But since he pulled the earplugs out of his friend's ears and so now they're both in danger. Damn. I was born with the ability to physically experience the happiest memories of any human by merely touching the skin. I didn't realize this worked with the deceased until the day I felt a rush of joy along with vivid flashes of somebody's past, just as I bit into a burger from that diner. That's crazy. That's actually crazy. How many people do you think have eaten human flesh and not known it? Remember there was a case about this guy just like killing this entire family and then butchering them and then putting them in like what dumplings or something? And people continued to eat there and they didn't know. <sighs> yeah. You know, I, I will not be able to live with that fact in my head. My daughter Sadie was a kind, loving girl and we just want her return safely, please, I plead. Sadie is, I correct myself in front of the mirror. <gasps> So they're like practicing their line before like what they go in the news or something to beg for people to find her but they were the killer oh my gosh wow wow that's crazy you know like when inspectors are like interrogating someone and then they just want them to keep talking because they're gonna catch on a mistake like this right that's crazy. I love you, my husband said to me, causing me to turn around and smile at him. We should run away together, he continued, my face going white as I realized he had my phone in one hand, reading my text aloud and a gun in the other. Oh my gosh. So she was cheating on him and he's about to kill her. Damn. It's not the reason to kill somebody though, but down you know what's crazy the fact that these stories happen in real life that's a scary thing mm. my roommate kept stealing my salt so i replaced it with sugar to teach him a lesson after i hadn't seen him for four days i broke into his room to find a circle of salt around his messy bed covered in tiny caramelized hoof prints so the roommate was taking the salt to like you know stay away demons <laughs> i don't know what you're supposed to say but like you know go leave expel you but now they replaced it with sugar and the demons are like yummy my girlfriend screamed at me for trying to force feed her while claiming she always knew i had a thing for chubby girls i watched her paper thin body clutching to the chair for support and wished there was some way i could help convince her she wasn't overweight <gasps> oh that's so sad bro oh my gosh so like he just wants her to live but like she just you know in her own mind Damn. I watched in horror as the midwife slammed my newborn baby against the doorframe. April Fool, she laughed. It was still born. What the f- <laughs> Damn. Okay. 
کرد You know, if I met someone like this in real life, I don't know if I could keep it together. At first, I was so relieved to have survived the plane crash and make it to the deserted island with the other survivors. And then I realized that I was the only woman. Honestly, I would just go back in the ocean, you know? I'm joining y'all, bye! I watched from the afterlife as my mother, always so outwardly caring and affectionate, was finally convicted of poisoning me. How the F did I forget to leave a note? <gasps> So they kill themselves, but the mother's being suspected. Oh my god. Oh. <sighs> I come back to life again, man. This reminds me of the drama that I watched called Death's Game. He offed himself, but he really didn't think about the people that were gonna be sad after he died. And it's okay, if you guys are gonna watch it, it's not a spoiler because that happens literally in the first episode. And the whole drama is literally about him trying to redeem himself again because he gets 10 more lives to live in other people's bodies. So yeah, watch it, cause it's good. After my latest failed attempts, I awoke in the hospital to the smiling faces of my family and the doctor saying I was lucky to be alive. As the doctor left the room, all smiles faded and my mother said in the typical dismissive tone, I guess you can't even die right. This would actually make me want to live, okay? Honestly. <laughs> if I was in that situation, F everybody, I'm gonna live for myself. Y'all are dead. I felt embarrassed cleaning myself off after spilling my drink in front of my date. Looking down at my nail polish changing color, maybe it was for the best. Ooh, they have the, you know, the nail polish that detects whether someone drugged your drink or not. Wow. Wow. Today, they announced that there are only 12,000 spots left in heaven. Millions of terrified parents rush to kill their own children. What, so the children can end up in heaven? What the hell? <laughs> Sorry, I'm just a bit dumbfounded. Alright. I poured my sister a cup of tea, comforting her as she cried about her recent miscarriage. I felt a little bad about what I had added to her tea the last time she was here, but she would have been pregnant at my wedding, and honestly, she should have known better. <gasps> oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! No way! <laughs> the fact that this is also relatable in real life as well. Like, some people really don't want pregnant people at their weddings. No. Like, but insecure, aren't you? I bored my eyes out in my high school counselor's office, finally explaining all the abuse my mother had put me through. I got quite the interesting phone call today. My mother told me later that day as I came home from school. The chancla in her hand. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know why it's making me laugh. I feel like a lot of us have been through this. I mean, not that it's okay, right? It's never okay to abuse your kids. But damn, the slipper, you know? It'd always be the slipper. Well, that's it for the video. Hope you guys enjoy. Tell me in the comments down below what your thoughts are. And as always, thanks for watching. Hope you guys liked it. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.